Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. This video is a brief overview of Alexander Parkamov's Fusion Fission Excel spreadsheet, which I have open here in OpenOffice. It also works in LibreOffice and it is available from the author. This spreadsheet is a piece of work where Alexander looked at all of the fusion, fission and nuclear exchange reactions uh, essentially starting with stable elements apart from these elements up here and looked at either two uh, nuclei fusing that are stable to another stable nuclei or a stable nuclei fissioning to two stable nuclei or two stable nuclei uh, essentially becoming two other stable nuclei. That had a net energy yield. And so the first table he has is all of the stable isotopes, uh, which he's got here. And uh, these are obviously all the stable isotopes in the periodic table. This is a useful list just to have anyway. Um, so he has it there, 297 or so uh, stable isotopes, in addition to these ones up here. And then what he looks at is uh, two uh, nucleus uh, going to two other nucleus where the um, overall nucleon count, uh, protons and neutrons, is equivalent between the two sides of the equation. All are stable and the net energy yield is positive. And he said uh, once the program was written to take into account these various factors, it took about 10 days to calculate this table. And actually, it's, it's quite extraordinary. Uh, there are, uh, if you look here, uh, over half a million uh, potential combinations. So you can imagine that that would have taken quite a long time uh, and dumping all the, um, the uh, same uh, output reactions and all the ones that didn't yield a net uh, positive yield. Uh, you would imagine that that would take a, a long time. And the reason I've been looking at this uh, 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 is because I've been uh, analyze. I want to be able to analyze um, people's uh, input and output elements uh, in context with this work that Alexandra has done and see if that um, is a good way to represent uh, the information that, that one observes in reality. He also has this uh, fusion fission table here. So uh, we've got uh, fusion products here uh, on the left that have a net uh, positive yield. Uh, and there are hmm, 1,000 and uh, 1,398 uh, lines there, minus 9. So uh, a fair number there. And uh, we have the fission products over here. Uh, so it's almost a, a subset of uh, of the same reaction you saw on the uh, two two nuclei going to two nuclei, and so there are less on the uh, fission side. So using this, he calculated for his uh, boron nitride, uh, nickel aluminium lithium aluminium hydride uh, reactor. Um, the potential outcomes, oh, he's actually got tungsten in here. Uh, so various experiments, I guess, that he's been doing. Uh, he wanted to observe uh, what the possible reactions are. I think in his case, um, uh, the tungsten uh, was uh, the heater wire. Um, and so he's got uh, these various reaction products coming out uh, that it predicts. Now, I've been looking at uh, a reaction that Me356 did, and that will be this this video will form part of that presentation, uh, where the output uh, reaction products are are known. So we can only look at the input and output uh, compatible reaction products to see which are available. And I have that uh, here, uh, and I will go over that uh, in the uh, Steemit presentation and associated video. So thank you for your time. Um, now, I, I was wondering if there's anyone out there 
that has the programming skills to make a web application which would hold the stable isotopes in a database and the potential uh, two to two uh, reactions and the uh, fusion fission reactions in a database. Uh, and you would essentially put your inputs on one side uh, and your outputs on the other. And it would work out uh, uh, from looking through these tables what the possible um, combinations of reactions that could occur that fit the inputs and outputs. So, um, I, I mean, it'd be perfect as a, a, a smartphone application, but to have it as a web application means people could use it on uh, smart smartphones and um, uh, on, on desktops as well. So if there's anyone out there that's uh, interested in programming this, uh, I think it would be a useful tool uh, for the community to have. So please uh, contact me. Uh, in the description of this video or um, through the uh, quantumheat.org uh, website. Thank you for your time.